and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we will talk about again Victron Venus OS update version 3.21. Let's get right into it. So last week, I believe it was last week, not long time ago for sure, there was an update Victron Venus OS 3.20. They had a lot of changes including the Victron Orion XS DC to DC charger with up to 50 amps of power. This time there is some minor change so Talking about a changelog, we'll jump right into this changelog and then we'll do the updates on my Raspberry Pi 4, which is my test device, and then we'll do it on the Raspberry Pi 3, which is my production device and has a little more components connected. Not as much as you might have, probably, but as always, we just try to do the updates and see if it works, if there's any major flaw coming in. So you are a little bit more protected if you don't have automatic updates set up. So let's see. This is the changelog, and we can see it's already a couple days. Sorry about that, there's a little delay in it. So we have version 3.21, which they released on February 19th, which is just about, when you look here below, just about, you know, six days. And there's only one, in quotes, minor fix. I think we went through that as well, because the MQTT, it looks like they just do a bug fix, as you can see in the last sentence. This bug was introduced in the version 3.20, and here they, fix this issue, prevent writing negative numbers over the MQTT protocol. Could have had an impact on your own software, it looks like. Uh, exa for example, control loops that run a different ESS algorithm than the standard Victron one. All right, maybe you fact it, maybe not. Maybe you just wanna do all the updates which they recommend and they bring out, so that's the way to go. We'll jump right into it. Um, we don't have to stop here, we don't have to go through anything else. That's the only change they have, so it might be just a minor fix. If you're not affected by this, you could just skip it as well, I guess. So this is my Raspberry Pi 4, my test version. We have the one wires connected, the Raspberry Pi processor temperature, and I'm using the setup helper up there. So let's go to settings, let's go to firmware, let's go to online updates. We have an official release here. We have the normal image size, and we can see that it did find already the update 3.21. Let's just do another check. Nothing coming up or nothing new. So we'll double click and do the installation. As always, I'll be back <laughs> as soon as it's installed because it's just, I don't want to waste your time. All right, let's try to reconnect. Oh wow, we are back already. I was too slow. One comment because I was asked about the relay board. I have to reconnect it. I am not using it on here, but I will reconnect it to my test device pretty soon, just to make sure we have it also covered. Because I think a lot of you guys are um, using it. So I wanna make sure that this is covered also by all those updates we're doing. And we'll try to include some testing there as well, at least some quick checks. So here it looks like um, we installed, yep, we installed the setup helper already. When I go to page, you see the, the GUI mode is installed. I can see the one wires are back up. You see the temperature back up. When I go to setting, we can see when I go to firmware really quick, we see we have the version 3.21. So that's good. Let me go back. And then we see, oh, all the way down, package manager. Checking for downloads updates, active packages. We can see we have setup helper installed. It's good, Raspberry Pi display setup. We confirmed Venus temperature. We confirmed and GUI mods we also confirmed so it looks all good everything looks good to me so that's uh, so that means for me we will proceed with our raspberry pi 3 which is the production unit so that means switching over here here we see more as i mentioned propane tank raspberry pi processor temperature smart chart, and our smart solar charger mppt going to settings firmware here we can see the old version and let's go to online updates and uh, update feed official release but it's the large image keep that in mind it might take a little longer update um yeah it says already 3.21 is available let's do a check again still there we'll just double click and hit enter as previously after we have done the reboot everything looks good i'll reconnect here again and again it will be oh there we are all right it took definitely way longer than i expected and, oh, usually I have it in dark mode, so that works. It looks like Setup Helper is already installed. Let's see. Let's go to settings really quick and see if everything worked out fine. Yes, firmware version 3.21, so that's good. What you didn't do on the other one, uh, let's check if there's another version available, but... 
It looks like my connectivity is not as good right now with this version. Or... There we go. Oh, it just takes a little longer. Maybe my internet connection is not as good. Or the server is just maybe overloaded. Who knows? We will go to the package manager. Which is from the setup helper. Package manager. Checking for downloads, installs, active packages. So here you can see setup helper is installed. Shutdown monitor installed. Okay, the GPIO uh, is not installed because it's not installed at all. The, we have the temperature service, which is installed, and the GUI mod. So going back to menu, we see propane tank, processor temperature through the setup helper, and then with smart chant and also my NPVT. Go to pages, double click. We can see it's there, so that's good. All in all, it's just a little less responsive on this one. I'm not sure if it's a large image or maybe just my connectivity, because this one is in a different spot. Well, regardless, it looks like it did install everything what it should have installed. And that's good. That's how it should be. Um, I think there's nothing else I have to test at the moment. So, as I mentioned, I try to get the relay board back in so we can use the Raspberry Pi GPO uh, package here as well. And so that we can see if that works after the update as well. But as it looks now, we have done this 3.21. I'm not using the MQTT um, protocol at all so I cannot test more of this one. But if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if any suggestions, as always, let me also know and I'll try to incorporate them. Thanks for watching. Cheers!